So here are the drawings that I made for you guys. And if you guys want to use them, I will leave a link for them down below so you can go ahead and print them out. And you also need some white sticker paper. I got this one from the Michaels Craft Store. Print them out onto your sticker paper and then use your scissors to cut out the outline. So once you have all of your stickers cut out, grab some parchment paper, wax paper, or the baking paper. The same thing. They're all the same thing. <laughs> and then trace the outline out. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just kind of try your best. And then with some vinyl fabric, you should be able to find at the craft store. Cut two of the pieces out. And then sandwich your parchment paper in between them too. And then make a little tiny tab with some parchment paper. Place it inside of the sandwich. <laughs> like this and then place two pieces of parchment paper on top and on the bottom or one on each side and this is going to prevent it from sticking to anything and then with the iron on a low medium heat I pressed it on top for 30 seconds and then I flipped it over and then I did another 30 seconds on the other side just to make sure that everything melted together let it cool down and then remove the little tab. It can be kind of stuck, so just try to wiggle it out. And then with your scissors, cut out the outline. Don't cut it too close to the edge, otherwise it's going to rip open. And then with some tweezers or something, remove your outline or the parchment paper. And then I, inje I injected some water inside of it with this little dropper. And then to make it magical, I added some glitter inside of it. You can add as much glitter as you want. Then I cleaned out the opening with the paper towel to make sure there wasn't any gl glitter on the sides. I sealed it or I kind of patched it with the parchment paper and then I went over the edge to make sure it's sealed. And this is how it turned out. Depending on how much you iron the corner, that's how much it's going to close. Then with some white like school glue, I painted the back and then I pressed my sticker on top. Press it nice and tight. Make sure you don't add too much glue, otherwise it will bleed. Make a little thin film of white glue. Let it dry, and then you can go ahead and stick your stickers wherever you want to stick them on. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I think they turned out super cute, and if you guys try it out, I wish you the best. You can also do it with a bunch of other drawings. You guys don't have to use the ones I made. You can do it whatever you'd like, and I hope you guys have a good one. Bye!